Uh, one, I think he froze. Jessica, can uh, you see me? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I see okay. You, but you're like, like freezing and like stuff like that. Oh man, it's my connection. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can try to get started. Yeah, let's get started. Okay. All right. So we'll be making bruschetta today. So what we're making is. Oh, Lauren, we can't. There we go. Okay. So what we're making is bruschetta. Oh, so this is a classic, yes. classic, classic Italian appetizer. Uh, Lauren, we can't see your face. Oh. Can you uh, see? Maybe back up your phone. Uh, it'll be okay. One second. Sorry about this, guys. Hi, Hannah. How are you? Is that good? This is uh, from Hannah, uh, from Rouse and Best Friends chapter. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's here. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Thank you for joining. OK. It's going to have to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> ready to start? Uh, yes. Right. Oh, hi, Diana. Hello, everyone. Thank you for starting to join. So Jessica and I will be making bruschetta today, as we already said. And um, so we are just another quick introduction. Um, we are the president and vice president of the Humber Best Buddies. So if in case there's any Humber students here, if you're interested in joining, contact us, and then you can be part of the chapter. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi from Newfoundland. Oh. Hi, everyone. Hi. All right. So we're going to start um, with our, usually it's four tomatoes, but I have two really big ones with me. So I'm going to use two today. And then what you also need is to have garlic cloves to taste. Um, I have, you can have two or three or even more, depending on how you like it. Um, salt and pepper. And extra virgin olive oil. It's very simple. Uh, and then as an added touch, you can either put uh, fresh basil or oregano. So I'll be using oregano. And uh, which one are you using today, Jessica? Five. Sorry? Which are you going to be using um, fresh oregano or basil today? Oh, basil. Basil? Oh, nice. We have two different ones. All right. So I'm going to show you how to cut. This is basil right here. Oh, they look so similar. Yeah, and it yeah. really smells really good too. So does oregano. Mm -hmm. I love fresh herbs. These are from my grandmother's garden. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, gardens always offer the best flavor in food. So if you, oh, thank if you. Have time, oh, what did they say? Thanks, Hannah. She Hannah loves my top. Oh, it's a really nice top. That's very sweet of you, Hannah. <laughs> I wish I had that one. I love purple. It's my favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> I think I... When did they get this, Mom? Only at the Best Buddies conference. Yeah, I got... That's at the Best Buddies conference. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. So you can start I'm by cutting off the ends of the tomato, because you don't want to eat this part. Okay, so... And if you want to have a sharp knife, and if you need help with the cutting process, please make sure to ask someone. 
Okay, so we're just gonna yes. cut that right off. See, my mom helped me cut it too. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. There we go. These are huge. And this is mine right here. This is my tomatoes. Ah, yes. Those look awesome. Yeah, they're all pretty cut up for me. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to show everyone how to do the tomatoes. So I just cut off the stem. So now I'm going to cut it um, lengthwise, just straight down the middle. Perfect. And now, with the flat side down, we are going to cut it lengthwise some more into small, <gasps> about half inch slices. Hi, Julia. Here we go. And then you can turn it over and slice it lengthwise again. And you want to keep everything together because we're going to be slicing it one more time. So this part is very difficult. You want to go slow. It's already breaking apart for me. Mm -hmm. Go slow. Keep your fingers curled in so you don't cut your fingers. And boom. So now I'm going to turn it one last time. And now we're going to cut it into cubes. Mm -hmm. Very small cubes. And see how that's Oh, yes. Uh, one sharp knife or a dull knife? Oh, always a to sharp cut knife. The tomatoes. Sharp? Always a sharp knife, yes. Good. Dull knives can can cause accidents in the kitchen. Yes. Yes. All right. So this I have a very sharp knife, so it's slicing like butter through these tomatoes. Perfect. Uh, so who is uh Irina Alex? Irina hmm? Alex. Hi. <laughs> Thank you all for joining. All right. So I'm going to keep cutting these. Um, so Jessica, what's something new you've done recently? Uh, I just got my teeth cleaned today. Oh, very nice. Can we see? Wow. Nice and white. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And... Mm. Oh, the bottom suit. Very nice. I have to get mine clean soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a vampire because of my uh, teeth. Oh, no, you don't look like a vampire. <laughs> I know I don't look like one, but I kind of am because of my teeth. Because oh. I have, like, two up here that are, like, fangs, okay. like, little sharp fangs, and then there's two down here that are, like, really sharp, but, like, Bangy, like. Oh, <laughs> can anyone else in the chat relate? <laughs> Does anyone else have vampire teeth? Hi, Danielle. Okay. <gasps> Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. Yes. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. He's from uh, my uh, other school, OPH. Oh, very nice. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks for joining, Jeffrey. So I'm almost done slicing these tomatoes. I'm just gonna take that part off. These are very soft. Make sure to grab firm tomatoes. It'll be a lot easier to slice them. I think my tomatoes are a little bit too soft, so that's why they're falling apart on me. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. That is so, that's so right, to get firm uh, tomatoes. Yes. Yes. Oh. You are doing a great job cutting, Lauren. Oh, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> right. Do you want to try having small slices of tomato? Oh, we are making bruschetta. Yes. So small Daniel tomatoes. Wants to know. Sorry. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Sorry. So the, um, small scales tomatoes are the best so that when they are put onto the bread, you have a nice full um, bread and you get all the flavors. If the tomato slices are too big, then it's going to um, taste too much like tomato and maybe you'll have trouble um, stacking it onto the bread. Yep. Yeah. So maybe some smaller be better. <laughs> there we go. So I just finished chopping up my tomatoes, putting them into my bowl, and now we're going to cut up the garlic cloves. Can anyone... I'm 
<laughs> Does anyone remember how many garlic cloves we could use for this recipe before we start? Two. Two? Good. Two, two to three, maybe more. Two to three, three to four, how many you want. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut, you, when cutting the garlic, chop off both ends. So it's a taste though. Yes, to taste. Yes, to taste. Yeah. So when cutting the garlic, you cut off both ends. And then yeah. peeling off the, the skin will be very easy, will be much easier to do. But mine are. Yeah, and they have to be like small pieces as well. Mm hmm. This is too much. I'm just going to rinse my hands. I got tomato all over my hands. <laughs> but you could also use a garlic press to like press them as well, like this. This is the garlic press that you put in the, the garlic yeah. through here. And then just press it through, and it comes out here oh. all grated. Wow, that seems really useful. I wish I had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to do. Yeah. Does anyone here use have used um, a garlic press? Maybe we'll just see. Because that's a, that's a nifty gadget have. And then? Yeah, it's really easy to use. Yeah, and then we can press it down with the blade facing um, away from your hands, and then... Yeah, away from your hands. And it makes it so easy to... To uh, mince afterwards. Chop. Yes, because then it it's already so easy. easy. Yeah. yeah. So then I'm going to mince these into small pieces, and I'm going to add it to the tomato mixture. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's so true. Very small pieces. Did you put, how many garlics did you put in your recipe? Uh, four. Oh, four. I used okay. four. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, my favorite restaurant for anything like bruschetta or like mussels would yeah. be Grazie's. Have oh. you ever been? Yes, I have. Grazie's is a very tasty Italian restaurant. Yeah, so what's your uh, favorite thing to have with bruschetta? Mmm. With bruschetta, I, I love having like mozzarella cheese with it. Ooh. Yeah. Because the. I mean, like a main food. <laughs> like a main meal oh, to as have. As a dish? As a dish, yes. Uh, anything with meat. <laughs> yeah, so cool. It could, like, for you. it could be veal or maybe chicken or roast beef. Right, I yes. Like yeah. Yeah, it's really good with mussels, with pasta, with veal. Oh, yeah, seafood's great. And it's really good with Italian food, too. Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. Just maybe like lasagna. Yeah, like lasagna and stuff like that. Yes. Who here loves lasagna? Um, I really like lasagna, and my uh, link to the Italian roots would be my dad. Oh, nice. Yes. Right. So just add <laughs> the minced garlic. Oh, what's your favorite Italian food? Pardon? What's your favorite Italian food? Oh, I love all Italian food. Um, some things that my nonna makes from home that is just absolutely delicious is her giant rice balls. I love them. We all go crazy. Nice. Yeah. So then I'm just going to uh, grab these uh, fresh oregano. I'm going to just pop it up a little bit because they're already nice and small. Okay. Okay. And that's that's good enough. I'm gonna add it to the bowl, and now I'm going to add some nice, nice skills. Oh, thank you. So just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and this is the pepper. Now I'm going to do two tablespoons of olive oil. Great. Yes. So the best kind of olive oil would be extra virgin because that has the most flavor. I love doing this with you. <laughs> I love cooking with you too, Jessica. Yes. Okay. 
So now the last step is to cover it with any kind of lid or plates or some ram wrap and then leave it on the counter for one to two hours for the flavors to sit and combine into the tomatoes. Yes, yeah. that is so true. Yes. So now I'm going to show how to slice the bread. And the bread that I chose today is an ace French baguette. So I'm going to quickly go Yes. Which bread did you choose, Jessica? Oh, I actually got bread from uh, Nina the Bursa Bakery. Oh. Yes, and it's uh, an Italian bread called staccato split top bread. Oh, wow. Do you uh, go to Nino Diversa often? Ah, uh, it's a bakery, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. I've been there before, too. That's it. Oh, that's, that's the, the uh, bread kind? Very nice, yeah. This is the eighth one. In case anyone wants to use the same bread as us. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to open this quickly. And for the bread, we're going to use a serrated knife. Oh. Yes. yes. This is nice. much easier than a flat knife would. And using the right knife is important when cooking. To hi Tolly. <laughs> hi Tolly. Very good. <laughs> Perfect. So this is the the bread. Yes. And so yeah. So it's very important to use the right kind of knife to avoid accidents in the kitchen. And so to cut this bread, I'm going to go lengthwise on the diagonal, and this will make it um, wider pieces to put more tomatoes. And I'm going to cut them about an inch wide. So I'm going to do a couple, and I'll show you. And that's what I did, too. That's what you did, too? Nice. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to do the one, and then I'm going to show how thick. Oh, that was a little bit too thick. <laughs> and it's OK if they're not all even. Because it all goes down the same way anyways. It's still going to be as tasty. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah. That's this is really funny. About the size. So when you do it diagonal so that when it's open, you see how wide that is? Yeah. Yes. Compared to, for example, if we did it straight, it would only... Seconds. This is the end of the bread. It would only be like this one. So big difference. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. But I have a bigger bread, so uh, it's like a bigger and thicker bread that is a little bit bigger that can actually do um, one inch slices. Oh, and when you go straight, it goes like this. Oh, you can cut that one straight and it'll still be one inch? Yeah, it will. Oh, wow. Because it's a bigger, thicker bread. Nice. That, that would probably be easier to do. Yeah, it is. It's a lot easier to do. This is the bread that's right here that I used. Which? Oh, wow. That is a very big loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, that's why I cut it straight. Yeah. Like this. Cut it straight, so then it can be like a lot bigger and like wider. Yeah. And plus, sometimes. Cutting it straight is a lot easier because, like, it's hard to get it even when you're doing it on a diagonal. So, again, if you need yeah. help with this part, like, always um, feel free to ask for help. Never, if ever you are uncomfortable, never uh, force yourself to do something. So, then we turn them sideways, and you would want to heat the oven to broil setting, and you would pop these onto a tray. Oh, actually, Jessica, would you like to demonstrate this part? Oh, yes, yes, I would, actually. So, you first heat your oven on broil. This can take five to ten minutes to heat up. Mm -hmm. Cut the bread in one inch slices, like this, and once cut them on a plate, place them on a plate using a pastry brush, like this, you uh, get oil, olive oil, dip it in olive oil, 
and just put it on one side of the bread. Oh, nice. So, just like that. And then you do the same thing for the other three as well. That brush looks like it comes in handy. The other two as well. That would probably be a, a lot like easier that. to use than, um, than a spoon, right? Yeah, it's, easier, it's a lot easier than a spoon, yes. And it's a really great brush as okay. well to use. What else could you use that brush for? Uh, I don't could you serve like for pastries and stuff like that? Yes. Oh, nice for baking. That's multi. Yeah, for baking. Nice. So, people who joined us today, do you have any um, questions or comments you want to share with us? Um, maybe like how are you enjoying the video so far, or if you have any ideas of uh, what we could do for our next one, or how you're keeping busy and stress free during school, if you're in school. I think I, oh, yes, yes, I did. I actually made this in grade school. I did, I remember. Uh, I was taking French at the time, and I really didn't like it. So oh. uh, instead, I wanted to, like, started cooking. Oh. And I, I made bruschetta uh, one time as well for my grade A class mm -hmm. as well, Very yes. Nice. So... Wow. Place the baking sheet in the oven on the second rack from the top. Now, please remember, the bread will brown in a few minutes, so don't leave it. Keep watching it so it doesn't burn. My mom and I were talking, and this is what happened to our three slices. Uh -oh. They burnt. Oh, like no. This. Oh, no. So yeah. That's a little bit too too brown. Yeah, that's a bit way too brown actually. Yeah. But when the bread is a light golden brown, take it out of the oven, like this one. Oh, very nice. That's different. Yes. That's different because this would be not toasted, so very white, and then yours is yeah. nice golden. So that's the way you want. Yeah. That's a nice crunch. That's a, yes. Yes. And then. Oh, hi, Maddie. Hi. Um, again, another friend from my other school, OPH. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So then you place the bread slices on a plate uh, with the both side to the top. Then using a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Could you lift it up to show? Sorry? Oh, could you lift up the bread to show? Uh, yeah. That's the bread right there. Nice. Yes. So, using a tablespoon, scoop the tomato mixture on top of the bread. Oh, nice. Like so. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and if you want, to, you can add, uh, Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese on top of the tomatoes. Oh. That's the cheese that I have. Ah, I have this Parmesan, so it's already grated. Nice. That's good, actually. Then transfer the, the bruschetta on uh, a serving tray with garnish with basil. Wow. I'm going to grab a pen and I'm going to start my oven on broil. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually, uh... Is everything okay? Spilling tomato on my legs. Uh oh! <laughs> Make sure to have a, a plate underneath you when putting the... Yeah, definitely. And this wow. is the, the tray that I have. Wow, those look delicious. Yeah, they do. Holy moly. And enjoy with your family and friends. Yes, these are 
perfect for sharing. Yes. Oh, hi, Sophia. Hi. OMG. Don't you just love Italian food? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One appetito. Enjoy. This means enjoy your meal in Italian. Who oh. says? Thank you to all the heroes. Aww. Thank you, Jessica. That was very sweet. Javi, thank yeah, you again for, for joining. Yeah, you too. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, if Sophia. You try, send pictures. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.